Hi Foundry, I want to talk to you today about the Wait Bible Study Method. I don't know about you, but reading the Bible was something I always felt like I wanted to do or I should do, but it seemed a little overwhelming. And then someone taught me how to study the Bible, and that had never occurred to me. I thought pastors and teachers had to study the Bible. I didn't know that I could do it. And this is one of the things that has transformed my entire life. I finally understood what it meant when people said that God's Word was their daily bread. There have been times in my life when the Word of God has been the only thing that has sustained me. And so it is my deepest desire that you will learn the joy of meeting God in His Word. So let's start. Let's look at the method together. W stands for Word. The Bible is the Word of God. God has given us the Bible to teach us about Him and to teach us about our relationship to Him. So before you read, ask the Holy Spirit to illuminate the Bible, to give you understanding as you read God's Word. Then I would invite you to read it one time to yourself and then maybe a second time aloud. Or if you're not comfortable doing that, you could play the audio on a Bible app or on Bible Gateway. However you choose to do it, try to go through the passage at least two times. For this that we're gonna to discuss together today, I'm gonna to use a passage from Genesis 39. It's a little bit shorter passage than you'll usually be studying when you do the method, but for time, we'll go over that together. Genesis 39, verses 20 through uh, 23. But while Joseph was there in prison, the Lord was with him. He showed him kindness and granted him favor in the eyes of the prison warden. So the warden put Joseph in charge of all those he held in prison, and he was responsible for all that was done there. The warden paid no attention to anything under Joseph's care because the Lord was with Joseph and gave him success in whatever he did. After you've read the word, we would move to the letter A, which is analyze. As you go through the text two times, ask yourself, what's going on here? Who's talking? Who are they talking to? Is there any action in what I'm reading? Is anything repeated? It's very important to ask these questions because you're trying to find out the context. We need to know what the, what the passage was saying at the time it was written. This will protect us from misinterpreting things or um, having misunderstandings in what we're reading. Also, when you're going through the text two times and you're analyzing, look for things that stand out to you. I'm so surprised after I've read the Bible a few times that I'll read a passage and suddenly a word or a phrase will stand out to me and I'll think, how have I never read that before? We'll get to that in a little while. So for this passage under um, Analyze, I would jot down the Lord was with Joseph because it said that twice in the passage. It said the Lord was with Joseph when he was in prison and the warden paid no attention to what Joseph did because the Lord was with Joseph. To me, that's something that's really standing out. Then we would move to the next step, which is interpret. When we do this, we wanna ask ourselves, what is the, the truth about God that is being revealed in this passage? Or you could think of it this way, what's the big idea? What's something that this passage is telling me that is true about God or true about his relationship to his people? In the passage we just read, as I mentioned, I wrote down that God was with Joseph. Well, from that, I can take the truth that it doesn't matter where we are, God is always with us. Or perhaps I could write down the big idea is that it doesn't matter how bad our circumstances seem, God never leaves us. He was with Joseph even in the prison. So the big idea or the truth that I would interpret from this passage is that God never leaves us. There's nowhere we can go that is away from him. And just because our circumstances seem bad does not mean we have been forgotten. After you interpret it, now it's the time to go to transformation. T stands for transform. And this is what the study is all about. We don't wanna just learn things about the Bible. We wanna apply them to our lives. We want to apply them and help us grow into the image of Christ. So I'm gonna ask myself, this truth about God that I found out, how does that apply to me today? You can ask yourself, how does this big idea that I just found in scripture apply to me today? How does it apply to the season of waiting I'm in? For myself, when I read that God was with Joseph while he was in prison, and I remember that that means there's nowhere we can be without God, I can apply it to myself saying, when I'm going through a difficult situation and those fears start to creep in my head that God doesn't care, God's forgotten me, or I'm all alone, I now know that that's not true. 
And the way I can transform from reading the scripture is that I'm gonna decide now that I will apply to my life that when those lies creep in, I will answer them with the truth. I will remind myself that I am not alone and that God has not forgotten me and that God is with me. And because of that, I can cry out to him. Remember during the analyze section that I said to jot down those things that stood out to you? and that sometimes you'll find that you'll reread a scripture and suddenly new things will stand out to you, this is the evidence we have that it is a living word. It is always speaking. There's so many times that a word or phrase will stand out to me. And then when I go and do the study, I realize that it, that applies to a decision I'm facing, or that applies to a fear I'm struggling with, or it convicts me of something that maybe I shouldn't be doing and I have to confess to God. It's so exciting when you read God's word and you realize that he is speaking to you because he wants a relationship with you. So I invite you over these next few weeks, even if you've never read the Bible on your own before, give this a try. I cannot wait to hear how God is speaking to you.